Good morning, everyone. I'm indeed very happy to be given this task to be presenting to you this morning. For this morning, for the 21 days of prayer, we're looking at a spirit given desire to pray. A spirit given desire to pray. What a blessing we gain by being in constant prayer with the Lord. God himself understands the need for us to connect with him. And that is why he will give us that desire to pray. The disciples, they saw also the importance of prayer. And that is why in Luke 11 verse 1, when they asked the Lord, Lord, teach us how to pray. And this also should be your desire on a daily basis. Teach us how to pray. God is always ready to pour upon us the spirit of grace and of supplication. And that came out in Zechariah 12, verse 10. He's always ready to pour it upon us the spirit of grace and supplication. Before I go any further, I just want to invite the Lord's presence here as I seek to present today. Loving Lord, I want to thank you, merciful Father, for this morning. Thank you for your grace and your mercies. Thank you for allowing us to be in this space where we can hear more and be more and to be spiritually drawn to you because we have been here. Thank you once again, and I invite the Holy Spirit to be with us. I pray. Amen. spirit given desire to pray when we receive the baptism of the holy spirit a deep inner desire will begin to develop within us to be more in prayer to our heavenly father and we all can remember that when we first met christ there has been this deep desire to pray and that desire should never go away we can either be yielded to this God-given desire or ignore it and continue being an active Christian than a praying Christian. I'm pretty sure that we all want to be a praying Christian. What are we if we're not a praying Christian? It doesn't matter how active we are. If we're not a praying Christian, well, we will be losing out. We want to experience the deep things of God and the fullness of Christ in our lives, we must yield to his desire to pray. So in order to experience a deep desire of God, we must pray. If we want to see his delivering power manifest in our lives, over everything Satan tries to bring unto us, to see the power of God manifest through us in blessings through others, with his deliverance, we must spend much time with God in prayer. What this is saying, if we want to be victorious over whatever the devil may throw at us, we have to be praying Christian. That is a powerful tool that God has given to us, and that is to pray. So for a part of our prayer life, we should be praying and ask God to give us the desire to pray always. Christians have known the importance of prayer for years. Yes, we all know the importance of prayer. Many times we have made effort to make time to prayer. How many of us can attest to that? We have put in things to make sure that we are praying as we ought to. But those special seasons of prayer were motivated by, maybe they were motivated by some crisis, something that has happened in time. And it didn't continue for very long. So something has happened and that motivated us to want, motivated us to want to pray. But as soon as the effects of whatever that crisis is, Sometimes we went back to where we were so that yearning for prayer is not there anymore. But our problem is that we have become very self-sufficient in meeting our own needs. So we think that we can meet our own needs and that the needs of and that the, the needs of the church are others. So we have learned to rely what? On our own efforts instead of on God. We have been involved in much planning and many programs, getting so busy doing so many things and thinking that we can do it of ourselves. But that is not so. 
we have learned what? When we do this, we are learning to depend on flesh instead of depending on God. God has blessed us and he has blessed our efforts. However, a blessing beyond our greatest expectation awaits us when we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and enter into the prayer relationship he desires for us. So when we are able to enter into that prayer relationship that God desires for us, only then our plans for God and our activity is said to be a blessing, right? So Jesus had this kind of meaningful, deep and powerful relationship with his father. In fact, his relationship was so close and intimate that Jesus said here, I and my father are one. So if Christ and God are one, we realize what? The relationship that they have was so intimate. Christ will always be praying to God. Everything Jesus did was under the direction of his father. His words, his action were all done under the direction and power of the Father. Jesus emphasizes this when he said, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. That's coming from John 14, verse 10. So, in order for us to be able to, to keep connection with God, we have to have that consistent prayer life where we can speak to him and also listen to what he's saying to us and but having that desire always will also strengthen us as we face the various things that the devil will, will throw at us how did jesus obtain such closeness or oneness with the father it was through the baptism of the holy spirit and through prayer so right after the baptism of the holy spirit what did jesus do it says now then all the people were baptized. It came to pass that Jesus also baptized. And praying, the heaven was open and the Holy Ghost descended on him in a bodily shape like a dog upon him. So we know that the Holy Spirit descended on God and on Jesus. And it also stated that thou art my beloved son, in thee I am well pleased. In answer to Christ's prayer, the Holy Spirit descended upon him. And he, did, and he received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But what happened? Immediately after this event, he was led by the Holy Spirit to spend 40 days and nights fasting and prayer in the wilderness. So what we see, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and then what happened? Christ now spent 40 days and 40 nights in fasting and prayer. So following the the, 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 the the Holy Spirit descending on him. Jesus now spent much time in prayer. And we are here praying for the Holy Spirit. We are praying for the latter rain. We are praying for the reign of the Holy Spirit on our lives. But what should follow? A more powerful life for each of us. But in order for that to happen, we are now praying for the Lord to help us to have that desire to pray always. Because we recognize that there is power in prayer. And as Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being 40 days tempted by the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were and when they were ended, he afterward felt hungry. So from the special communion with the Father, Christ came forth, prepared to do the work he came to earth to do. So he was empowered to be victorious over Satan and to defeat him. So from being Holy Spirit descend on him, he went into a power situation because now we recognize when we are blessed with the Holy Spirit, when we when the Holy Spirit has infilled us, we know that the devil will attack us more. So it's not to say that we are filled with the Holy Spirit, okay. And that's it. No, we should be praying more. And this is what Jesus pointed out to us. This is what he did. He had that desire to pray even more. And as followers of Christ, we should be doing the same thing. Same thing. We should be praying more. We are here asking for the Holy Spirit to infill us. But when that, we should also have that desire to pray more. 
So with these 31 days of prayer you have been chosen to participate in, it is desired for us to do what? To be praying more. And that is why we are asking for today for the Lord to fill us with this Holy Spirit. But not for us to sit down with it, but for us to also be diligent in prayer. And sometimes we remember to ask the Holy Spirit to give us that desire where we can, where we should be praying more. So my brothers and sisters, it is our desire that we will seek to pray more because we recognize that there is power in prayer. So for today, for this for this prayer session, um, it is my desire that we'll see God's word and we'll also seek to pray more because we recognize that there is power in prayer. And for our prayer session this morning, we're asking for God to continue to baptize each of us with the Spirit, with this, with His Holy Spirit. So we're asking for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and for God to give us a greater desire to pray. And not just to pray for ourselves, but also to pray for others. And this is my desire for us this morning, that we see God more and, not, and also to ask of Him the first to desire to pray more. I thank you very much for listening and hope that you will, you are being blessed by this morning reading as we seek to ask God's presence more within our life and for us to pray more. Thank you.